chose to do an art talk festival was because we could spread the art in the rural community. It's something in the event that children and adults of all ages can do. Lane Sheridan, I'm from Cheyenne. Live, I've seen um, pictures on the internet passed around and, and just found it fascinating. This is my first time live. It's terrific. Kelly Powers, so last year I just did a quilt block from a magazine, so yeah, it was fun. I really enjoyed it. Advanced myself this time. It was a horse um, that I got from a card. I do it to basically promote the business mm -hmm. and because it's fun. Mm -hmm. having Lee Jones and Jennifer Shaparo here has been uh, the reason for the success. We've been able to offer classes to people in the community who don't know the process and know how to do it and because we were able to bring in the professional artists and teach them and show them that this is something that you can do has really brought the festival to a, an elevated success. did, thanks to Jennifer, uh, recruit our high school teacher, and I'm looking forward to getting more high school students involved, and I want to grow the event more with more artists and continue to build on it. I'd like to see it turn into a two-day festival. That's what my goal is. Um, Buffalo is unique in that we have a lot of artists that are in this community, and trying to get them to come out and showcase them is something that would, be, would make it a two-day event. I, it, I think it's fascinating. It, it's really kind of fun to watch the artists at work, and um, you know, just because something might not be there tomorrow if it rains, but uh, it's still quite an art, and the ability to make it pop into three dimensions is magical. <laughs>